Today what we're going to be doing is installing the barn door. Uh, this barn door is from Lowe's. It's a brand called Renin and it's pretty simple to hang up. Uh, here are the instructions. I've already hung a few of these in different properties. So uh, I don't really need the instructions, but you could go ahead and take a look at them. It's probably a good idea to do that. The tools you will need for this are a drill, a small step ladder, a level, a half inch bit for your drill. You will also need a Phillips head for your drill. You might need a, a saw or something so you could be able to cut the door. There might be some situations where you need to cut it. There might be some situations where you need to cut this metal. Um, this is where the wheels sit on top. So if it doesn't fit, you might need to cut off a little bit. But besides that, those are the tools you will need. So when you open up your box, you will notice um, that, you know, it comes with a lot of plastic, a lot of cardboard and styrofoam. This time the styrofoam actually comes in handy. Remember to keep one of these. First thing we're gonna do is open up our box and see the contents that are inside. Two of these come with the kit, so we will install them on the door. The screws you will need for those, but just like this. So first, first thing we want to do is cut the plastic so we can go ahead and access this. I don't cut it all the way off, that way I don't get the door dirty. This is where the handle goes. So depending how you want it to open, that's how you want it to face. Um, so usually what I do is I look at this like an arrow. So since I want my door open in that way, I'm gonna make that the face. I'm gonna turn this guy around so people know to open it that way, kind of like an arrow. Front part, go ahead, put that guy there. And then for the next part, we'll put this washer and this nut on top of it. So go ahead, hold the nut in the back. Go ahead, let it fall on top of the door. Pop your washer over it. And then hand tighten it with the, with the nut. Go ahead and do the same thing. Put the washer in the bolt to the back, and this time you line it up. simple so we'll go ahead and follow these same steps on the other side and for now we'll just hand tighten them um, this is what's going to tell us about how high you, you want it because you don't want it too high but you don't want it too low on the ground what? 
this guy go, go ahead and uh, you know, cut a longer piece like this and put it at the front of your door. Where the opening of your door is, go ahead and set it there so that way you could set your door on there. these they come in a bag i think it's like five or six of them yeah it's five of them so as you can see um i've also gotten these from this same brand from renin um where they have some that are metal and you cannot remove this part uh, i don't know why that is um it don't even show it on the box but these are plastic uh actually the other ones do look a little bit nicer, but the nice thing about these is that you can take them off and the opening will be smaller. So just imagine if your wall is here, this opening is a little smaller, so that way there's uh, there's not a, uh, too much of a big opening where people can see through the door compared to if the opening was this much bigger. So it's nice that they do this. If you want privacy, I would put this there. And since this is going to go into a laundry room, uh, the less noise that could escape will probably be better. So we're going to go ahead and take these off. I'll them. So I'm going to throw all of these in my pocket. Now there's two sets of screws. So th there's this set of screws. And they come without anything that's pointing. So you would probably use those if you needed to go into something like drywall or something like that. Um, but if you were going to go into straight wood, I, I lucked out and there's wood all over these uh, back walls. This is an older house, so it's built with all wood. Um, it's like three quarter uh, wood back there, so this is plenty for me. The, but if you did not... You might have to use these guys that come with it, put a hole through your drywall if you cannot find a stud, which that's what I would try to do. I would I would find a stud and put my holes for these guys into studs. So that way I know that door is a lot stronger. Um, so you'll need a stud finder for that or a magnet um, so you can find your studs. But if not, if you cannot find a stud, and you can't hang a single one of these, I would try to at least find one stud in there so you could hang one of these. But if you can't do that, um, these guys, I, I would use these guys. And the way these work is actually pretty cool. You, you get a drill bit that's as big as this, and you drill the hole wherever your holes land up there. Um, you drill the hole in your drywall, and you, you grab this guy and you push him through and he'll open up. So like, let's say there's a hole, it'll go through the hole and then you open him up um, and you push him through. Once you push him through there, you squeeze this guy all the way down. You squeeze him down and then you just start yanking on this guy and he'll break off. And this is usually about, uh, I, it, there's different kinds. You get them at the hardware the hard, hardware store. They're pretty expensive. Uh, I think for about six or seven of these, you'll end up paying like $15, $20. It's pretty cool that they provide these just in case different scenarios. Um, but that's what you would do. You would uh, pop these guys in there, and I think it's about 30 pounds per screw in the drywall. So once you get all these guys in, it'll work nice. Um and then after you do that, you will stick this guy in there. This black thing goes inside that hole. Like so. And you just screw it in there. And uh, you use these same screws and they'll go right in here. And it'll be pretty strong. So no matter which situation you have, either if you're going into studs or you're going into drywall or if you're going uh, into wood like I am, 
it, it comes with all the different uh, screws you need for that, you know? So it's pretty nice that they do that. Uh, you don't have to go to the hardware store for any of that. So you'll have some extra pieces depending on what you do. But for me, I'm just going to go uh, straight to the wood. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these bolts here. I'm going to throw them in my pocket. So let's go ahead and jump up here and we're going to start with the center hole uh, on that mark. So we know exactly where we want this. So what I did there is I put it up there, I grabbed my screw and I marked it with a tip. Um, you might want to grab a pencil or something else instead of using that. And now I'm going to pre-start that hole. I'm going to screw this in. The way this is going to work out, this guy is going to go back there. He's going to go in the back with this towards the wall, with the flat side towards the wall. I'm going to pop my screw in through here, and then he's going to go through the back. And I'm going to put this in that hole. Now I'm going to screw him in. So that screw will kind of hold it for me. So next thing we're going to do is grab our level. Uh, we're going to put the magnets from the bottom side up, and we're going to level it. Next thing we're going to do is slip this guy in the back. So that's pretty good. Um, so the next step to do is to install these stoppers. We'll install it about there. this door that's where it'll stop these are Phillips screws so you'll need a Phillips head There's the door, uh, and the instructions, you know, they like it if you put it on this side, but for me, it just makes sense to, for the door to be here, because um, there's probably going to be a table over here, so if the handle is on that side, it's not going to, uh, won't work out right for you. So I decided to put the handle on the other side, but 
in the instructions, it asks for that design to finish where the handle is.